I do want to ask you guys, speaking of parity and kind of the rankings, this kind of rolls right into it. Big Sky, the four teams we're just talking about, they're all top 10 in the FCS stats perform poll. Idaho's three, Montana's four, Montana State is six, and Sac State's seven, UC Davis receiving votes. I bring that up. I did want to ask you guys kind of rank your top five Big Sky teams right now just because it's so interesting at the top. It's so close, and you can kind of break it down by – really nitpicking but that being said just an interesting thing to get how about we start with you fritz and kind of roll through it i i am interested if either one of you two vote in the fcs test no. No. i used to vote when i was at the Missoulian, and then i don't anymore and i don't miss it but uh <laughs> i did vote uh i'd had this based on who beat who who um beat idaho beat msu and then uh, msu back state and so did idaho so those are my top five Grizz, Vandals, Bobcats, Hornets, subject to change, obviously, because there's three weeks left. For number five, I'll go with the sheet because it's my my favorite road trip. <laughs> there you go. Fair point. <laughs> How about you, Ian? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, right now I have Idaho on top. I know Montana beat them a couple of weeks ago, but uh, uh, right after Idaho, I've got Montana State. I don't dock them too much. Now they dropped a little bit because they just lost in the poll. And then Montana was really right behind Montana State. And then I got Sac State after then. And then I'm going to round it out with UC Davis, like we just talked about. They're kind of that last team I think might be able to make a playoff playoff run, even though not super likely. But I'm going to go with them to round out my top five. Nope, solid, solid list. It's interesting. It's so close at the top where you can, really can't go wrong. It's very interesting right now for sure. How about you, Mark? Yeah, I know this is kind of a cop-out, but maybe I have a tie at first with Montana State and Idaho. I think they're both – pretty even. I mean, Montana State was a field goal away from overtime in that game, in a game that they did nothing in the first half. So I just think the, those are the two best teams, Montana three, Sac State four. And you say, oh, well, wait, Montana beat Idaho. Yeah, they did, and they did. But I think overall body of work for the season. And Montana was kind of skewed in that game. You know, they got the big lead, and then they played the whole second half, basically protecting the lead. So we didn't really get to see Montana play a full game and what all they could do. So, you know, you, they put, you play a little different with the lead when you're trying to protect it than when you're trying to show everything you have. So. Oh, fair, fair point. Fair point. I, I do got to go the Grizz number one, just for the sake they won at the Kibbe Dome. I think that's a big test. I will say Montana is one of those teams watching them and looking at the numbers is very different. They play such an interesting style of football where I've said before, it's kind of ugly. It's not pretty. It's not really uh, aesthetically pleasing like the modern era college football, but they find a way to get it done. They, I will say I got them number one now, but they have two huge tests on the horizon. Sac State in town this weekend for all the while coming out. You win or coming up, you win out. Then they are the number one team. I think beating Idaho, though, I had to give them the slight edge. But if you go off pure talent and kind of the firepower of it all, it's easy to go with Idaho or Montana State one. Right now I got Idaho number two. They beat Montana State. Close game, like you said, Mark, came down to the, the wire, up to a field goal. That being said, I think the Vandals showed a little bit more in that one. That's one of those ones that could change week to week. It all depends on how they play. They're so evenly matched. And then Montana State's number three. I never thought at this point in the season I'd have the Bobcats number three, but they have two losses. And they've showed a little bit to me, like maybe – they. I don't want to say they got exposed versus Idaho, but they showed a little bit of – there is a way to beat the Bobcats, force them to throw the football, and things get a little bit weird. They had a good second half throwing the ball, but that's not the Montana State team that we've got accustomed to. After that, Sac State, I think they're easily number four with a chance. They could rise all the way. Like I said, they had the talent to be best team in the conference almost. New coach, new quarterback, a lot of new pieces. But raw talent-wise, Sac State's unreal. And then I do have Portland State number five. I think their quarterback, Dante Saturay, he's playing out of his mind this year. He's had a ton of big games. And I think that kind of puts them over UC Davis. But Miles Hastings is also a heck of a quarterback. A lot of great QB play in this league. Like I said, they play this week. So we'll kind of figure that one out. UC Davis was my honorable mention. But 